in just a few minutes, I'm gonna show you how to set up your side scan. It's really, really simple. On my side scan page right here, this is the right side of the boat, left side of the boat. This is all bait fish we're seeing here. These individual marks are striped bass. Now I'm explaining what a return looks like versus a shadow. So right here, you're seeing all the bait fish here. These shadows here are far away. So if you have your return here, nice solid, it'll be that whitish color. That is actually fish, okay? Anytime I say return, it's gonna be a fish, a rock, a stump, something solid. So that's your fish. Those are your shadows. See how far apart they are? That means these fish are just below the surface. If the shadows were extremely close to the return, that means those fish are on the bottom. So in our settings here, in a menu, make sure it's highlighted in orange here. So we're gonna hit our menu. And we have our source. That is the uh, transducer I'm using. So I'm using a transducer plugged into this 12 inch. That's why the source we have selected is the 12. Range, you can leave that in auto. I usually leave it in manual so I can adjust it myself, but select your auto. Frequency, depends which transducer you have. If you have a side scan only transducer, if you have a total scan transducer three in one, you want to leave it in 455 most of the time. If you have a active imaging transducer, leave it in 800. Leave it in 800 for active imaging three in one transducer. Pallet, take your pick, wherever you like. I like this one the best. In here, in our contrast, it's I have it here at auto minus five. I will tweak that just a little bit sometimes because you can see when I go all the way to regular auto, I get kind of white hot, hot bars there. So I will reduce my contrast just till that softens up a little bit. But it's been a long time since I've ever even looked into here. I was kind of surprised to see it minus five, to be honest with you. Advanced TVG, again, that is deals with clearing up the turns close to the boat. And that would be these right here in this black area. That is directly under us. So you see as I reduce it, more stuff appears. As I increase it, it starts to filter out all that little stuff. You get a nice clean screen, but I want to be able to see that bait so I don't mind the noise. There's a striped bass right there, just striped bass there, see a shadow. So my TVG, leave it at zero. And flip, this means it will flip the image of the transducer if you have your transducer installed forward or backward. So you can install it with the wire in the front or the wire in the back, and then you hit that flip button. View is left and right. That's what I have here. If I hit left only, it'll give you the whole bar on the left. Right only, it gives me the whole section on the, on the right. Go back to left and right. Uh, that is all the basics of it right there. That is the only settings you really need to mess with on a Simrad side scan. One little thing that very few people know, I don't know why that is, uh, but it's pretty pretty important. Your range number is up here. So you see 20, 40, 60, 80. That's where I have my range set right now. And you saw that striped bass right by that 20 mark. So that fish is right underneath the 20 mark, but it's not 20 feet away. All right, you see these dots right here? That is Dave jigging the spoons. Keep it going, Dave. You see the, the dots where it says 20 foot? It's almost at the 20 foot mark to the left, but the jig isn't 20 foot to the left. It's straight under us. So Dave, uh, stop now. Just like reel it up and stop it. Okay, you see it stopped, right? No dots now. So it was right about the 18 or 19 foot mark to the left, but straight under the boat. Alright, drop it down. Okay, he's jigging it again. Okay, and there it is again. You can see his spoon. You can see that. It's not too bright. So he's working that spoon. Reduce the brightness here a little bit. Okay, there's Dave jigging. That's his dots from his spoon that is directly under the boat, not it's not 20 foot to the left. Okay, side scan. About, that's the 10 mark. So uh, 12 foot to the left, you can see that squiggly line. That is Tim's spoon. He's working. So you see him working. 
12 foot to the left, 13 foot, maybe almost 15 foot, about 14 foot to the left. But his jig is straight up and down under the boat. So uh, you can see, it's, I don't know if you can see. There's no angle, there's straight down. I know it's crappy, but it's hard to see. But his line is straight up and down. So four foot to the left. Four foot to the left, left yet the mark is right about 14 to 15 foot on here. So you do have to subtract a little bit of the depth to get the true distance left or right. So, all right, stop, hold it right there, don't bring it down. Okay. And that is it, it's super simple. I was kind of surprised to even see one of my settings was it, was it a minus five on contrast because I haven't. I really haven't messed with it in a while. Once you get it set up, you don't have to keep messing with it in most cases. You can see how we start moving. The screen looks different. You see when I was just showing you how to do your setup, it looks blurry like that. Just That's because we were drifting. Once you get the boat moving again, the bottom looks nice and smooth. So if you're drifting and you're seeing these, that's all it is, just because you're drifting. It's really meant, designed to be the clearest when the boat is moving fish up in seven feet of water man they're sitting right on top of this hump mike that shows you how valuable side scan is guys i see all these fish you found another snotchel hard hard to find them today but jeez <laughs> tommy approves Wow. Well, that was a good call there, Mike. This is still catching. marking. Time to play the game. And you're now watching Team Old School Striper Fishing on the tuna.com. Team Old School Striper Fishing.